Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Lars and I'll be showing you how to set up Open Lightspeed's Docker environment. You'll need to have Docker and Docker Compose installed. Assuming you've installed that, head over to the GitHub repository and clone the environment. Navigate into the folder. This is all the files that comes with the setup. I suggest you change the environment variables here. If you don't want to have the default root password to be password for MySQL, you can change it here. Uh, these will be used the first time you run the setup to create the database. When you're all ready to run the setup, write Docker Compose up. This will then create the containers, and you should now have Open Lightspeed running. So, navigating over to localhost, shows a 404. That's because we didn't add any content to localhost yet, but Lightspeed is running. We can then navigate to the, the backend and make sure everything is working here. It is. You can change this here as you would usually do if it wasn't running in Docker. Yes. Um, so let's add some content to localhost. We have uh, provided a demo script that installs a WordPress installer to localhost for you. So by running this command, it will then add a WordPress installer to localhost. Great. Now, navigating to localhost, shows a WordPress installer. Great. So, let me show you a little bit about this structure and how you can work with this setup. So, this is all the files. There are more files, but they are hidden. Um, and if you go into sites, localhost, HTML, you will then see all the files. So if you want to do any development or if you want to add a site, this is how the structure would be. So let's try to add a new domain. We have provided a lot of um, scripts to make it easier uh, to add domains without uh, using the web the open lightspeed's web admin interface so by using this script and running the domain you want to add let's say test at localhost it should now appear right beside localhost and it does so if we now navigate to test.local, it shows a 404, which is expected. We can then add a index and a and now it shows PHP info, so that's all working. Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or co comments, uh, please uh, leave it down below. Thank you very much.